I ended up just smiling, saying thank you, and walking away. Hey guys, it's Amanda. I hope you all had a great Easter weekend. Now we're back at it. And as you all know, I love watching comedy with you guys. We're going to be watching a new comedian. Well, new to me, Kevin Bridges and his bus stop joke, because that was the one that came up in the comments so much by you guys. So it's good to be in Edinburgh. I'm actually from Glasgow myself. Thank you. I would very much get a reputation. The city of Glasgow was recently announced as Europe's murder capital, <laughs> but also voted the UK's friendliest city. <laughs> In the same week, well, we got our act together pronto. <laughs> you might get the shite kicked out of you, but you'll get directions to the hospital. <laughs> Nice people. A bit mental, but a friendly mental. Ah. I also remember my first ever altercation with a friendly madman. Right. It was about midnight. I was standing at a bus stop waiting on a bus. <laughs> That's the way I play the game, right? <laughs> That's how I roll. At the, at the bus stop, waiting on a bus, Two people sat beside me. They were doing something similar, and uh, everybody was having a good time. <laughs> Sounds a bit far-fetched, but it's based on a true story. <laughs> so everyone's there getting their bus stop on when a, a friendly madman showed up. A guy, he was across the road, and he shouted, Hoy, you! Hoy, you! I, you! Now, when you're at a bus stop at midnight and somebody instigates a conversation with hoy you, hoy you, I, you, <laughs> you kind of shite yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you try and keep your head down, right? And then the guy shouts, hoy, fat boy. Fatty. <laughs> and while I'm standing there and I'm looking at the two people, <laughs> I'm <laughs> trying to figure out their BMI. And, uh, because <laughs> <laughs> one of us is about to become a statistic, right? <laughs> but beside me were just these two big skinny pensioner types. <laughs> Kill this one must be for me. <laughs> and the guy said, Fat boy, give me a quid or you're getting stabbed. <laughs> I thought, A quid? <laughs> that was quite reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> Panic over. I mean, I've never been stabbed, right, but I can imagine it'd be somewhat inconvenient. <laughs> Maybe even put a dampener on your evening, right? You'd be covered in blood. You'd need to go to a hospital to get stitches. You'd be physically and emotionally traumatised. And here, we've got a gentleman <laughs> offering me the chance to bypass such a horrendous ordeal. <laughs> in this current financial climate <laughs> for a mere pound. <laughs> now I'm a sucker for a bargain, so... I definitely can't say I've ever had that experience at a bus stop. No? Honestly, I thought he was brilliant. The BMI bit was one of the best bits, because I just think... Could you imagine actually doing that? Like, me? <laughs> oh, yeah, he is such a good storyteller. I'll definitely be watching more of his stuff. But watching him, 
also remind me of a time when I would have had trouble understanding Kevin. And I'm happy to report that I understood every word. Almost. I remember it like it was yesterday, the first time I flew over to England. I had a stopover in Glasgow, and I was so out of my element. I'd never done any traveling, let alone on my own. I was trying to work out where I was going. I was trying to get everyone on time. And I had so many wonderful people trying to help me, and I couldn't understand most of what was said to me. Like, I remember feeling so embarrassed and even rude because I had to keep asking people to repeat themselves. So I just couldn't get it. And in the end, I ended up just smiling, saying thank you, and walking away. It was so stressful, but I made it. I did make it. Our times have changed. <laughs> but let me know in the comments uh, what other skits of his I should watch and also any other comedians or whatever you'd like me to watch. Put it all in the comments for me. And as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, smash that like button if that's what you're into, and I'll see you in the next video.